All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find coterminal angles. If you can remember, the definition of coterminal angles are two angles that share the same initial and terminal side. So, let's say if we're going back in this direction, um, I'll start with this problem actually. If I go ahead and do a problem, usually we always go counterclockwise. So if I open up a problem this way, if I want to find the coterminal angle, and you can always just do <coughs> this, you know, this axis going up there. Well, now I can go in the other direction. So therefore, if I know a hole all the way around is 360, and I know I'm going all the way around except for 45 degrees, I do 360 minus <coughs> 45, which is going to give me, I'm sorry, I'm going in the negative direction, correct? The negative direction. So it's going to be a negative 360. And then going here, it's going to be plus 45, it's going to be negative 315. So if I go negative 315 in that direction, plus 45 going the other direction, that'll give me negative 315. <coughs> now if I want to find, well, what about another way? How about, what about another angle could be, what if you did this? Went this way, but instead of using this, so I'm still starting my initial side, but instead I go around once, and then I go to there. Well, let's say that's going to be 360. So all the way from here to here is 360, then I'm going to get an extra 45. So that's going to equal 405 degrees. Both of those angles end and start at the same point. So therefore, they're coterminal. Could you yes. do that for all the problems? Yes. However, a lot of times in your, a lot of times in a problem, though, they will put constraints. Girls, just hold on for a second. I don't, just give me a second. Um, a lot of times, oh, they'll put the constraints, find the coterminal angles that are between 0 and 360 degrees. So therefore, on that problem, only um, negative 315 will work. Or actually, well, that between, you, I'm sorry, that cannot be larger than 360 degrees. So you couldn't have anything that's in multiples of 2 pi. All right. <coughs> but obviously, if it was um, <coughs> that 45, then if it was between 0 and 360, there would be no curve terminal. Uh, for now, this one, negative 36, again, I'm just going to represent it as axis so you can remember, all right, go 360 degrees. So if we're here, if I was going to go in the opposite direction, Well, pretty much what that is, is 360 minus 36, which is 324 degrees. Or you could say, I'm going to go in this direction, bypass 360 degrees, or negative 360 degrees, plus another negative 36. So therefore, those would be my two coterminal angles. The reason why? Because you have an initial and you have a terminal side, which are the same for both angles. So that's how you find coterminal angles.